Oh, hello. I forgot I walked over here. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode, we finished the Foundry's main quest. Saving the mine from the beast. And allowing the workers to go back in there and proceed to do what they do. Mine iron. This gave us the... Ability to purchase better super steel, uh, super steel, to purchase plates, steel plates and what have you of a very high quality from Leone, the merchant out front. I tend to try to complete the foundry quest around level 16 to 18 to gain access to better metal so we can make some incredible weaponry using it as quickly as, as I can. And we created what I consider to be the ed end game weaponry, a dagger and a spear, which we're going to put to good use right here. Slaughtering rat hounds. As we make our way to the rat hound king. Something that I we meant to do quite some time ago. And never got around to actually doing. Oh, let's, these are, oh my goodness. Use our dagger for a little bit. You know, I'd rather have misses now than have misses later. Because Rahau King is still going to be a little tricky. It's going to be a little tricky. I am much higher level than I normally am when it comes to dealing with the Rathound King. I am about four levels higher. Normally level 14 is when I'm dealing with him. Possibly 15. Sometimes even earlier than that. Look at that crit! 261. 163. Another fantastic crit there. Wow! Well, we're wasting all my crits on normal rat hounds. That's kind of a shame. But oh well. Now let's go ahead and loot all the corpses, get all those hearts and intestines, and make your way finally over to where this guy is located. One of the few Redry Mushrooms we don't have to fight a Deathstalker or Crawler for. And of course, now we get a chance to make some leather armor. Using all the Rathound leather we just picked up. Is that the last one? And then we break down all that leather armor. For fabric scraps. And then we take those fabric scraps. And we make repair kits out of them. Perfect. And then we proceed onward. We're going to get quite a bit of use out of a higher tailoring skill here. Normally tailoring is not something I take so early. I tend to take it when I'm doing the DLC and begin trying to get it up at that point in order to make use of the greater siphoner leather. But here I want it a little earlier since we're going to be doing the deep caverns first. Hmm. And this is our first... Well, not our first, sorry. This is a dangerous cave to be in here. We have rat hounds. Yep, and we have some traps sitting around in here. Most importantly, there's a Death Stalker in the area that we're going to have to deal with, too. Because it's going to come out and see these rat hounds. Assuming, assuming it, any noise happens here. I should have my candy dodged. Oh, okay, good. We didn't even need it. Oh, okay. Well, it howled, which means now we now it's it, the Death Stalker, will be on the way to figure out what made that sound. Oh, but maybe we can hide in the corner. 
just listen for a little bit. It's over here. I know it's over there. We haven't... I don't think we've killed a Death Stalker yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm paranoid. Doesn't mean that it's not here, staring it right at me. I don't want to use Uncanny Dodge unless the Death Stalker shows up. We we won't take too much damage from the Alphas that are here. Good criticals, Tim. And maybe we cleared this area without the Death Stalker becoming aware of us. Psy Booster. A Galvanic Vest, which we don't need. And another old lamp. I think it might be worth taking and repairing it. It's not like... Well, we, we hit, oh, you know, we can break it down, even if I don't want to uh, to wear it or sell it. So we'll break it down. I am going to search all the remains that are here. Wow. That's a ton of body parts. We're going to double back to uh, Camp Harthor really quick and just drop a bunch of these body parts off since we're going to want them when we take biology later. And, oh, we have lots of, hold on. We also have lots of leather. So, once again. Go ahead and make a bunch of garbage leather that we don't care about. And then begin breaking all of it down. And yes, I found detection goggles at Southgate Station. Uh, what's his name now? I can't remember his name. The The armory guy was the one who actually was selling them. 67% is not the best. 64% is not actually better than 67%. We actually have 64 out of 67. But 64 will do. That should help us find all the traps that will be guarding the Rat Hound King. I hope. And there should be... Yep, a Oh, there's a barrel we didn't search. Let's search that barrel. Nothing here nothing in the barrel I care about. We'll go ahead and leave all of this here. Read that. And then we'll make some repair kits. How's our armor holding up? It is good. So we will leave behind these as well. The only issue with using, well, one of the, only, well, no, the only issue with using high durability weaponry is that they burn through their durability faster. I think the way, I, I don't know for a fact, but I, having played this game for 2,000 hours, I think the way that it's, or rather, it feels to me, which is not uh, reels. But durability decreases at a set percentage to me. So swinging a low-level weapon a bunch of times will eventually reach you to zero durability at the same rate that what swinging a high-level durability weapon will do. Which is weird. You'd think, with the, you'd think it wouldn't work that way, but it does. I guess it's like a tax. You're paying more 
for the privilege of using a high-level weapon. And if you want it to be functional, you're going to have to keep it repaired with more... More, uh, more repair kits. The weapon doesn't start to degrade, though, until it's very close to being busted. Which is why we can get away with not repairing our spear all the time. Oh, another Red Dream Mushroom that we don't have to fight for. There's a second one over here. Interesting. All right. This is the whole reason why we delayed going here for in order to wear detection goggles, since this area is flooded with traps. Let's see if we can see them. I am wearing it. <laughs> oh no! This is not promising. Okay, we can see some of them. We just weren't so far forward. We weren't far enough to actually see any. I don't think there's anything on the dead people. And unlike some other characters of mine who love this particular room because they have traps and they want all of them, we don't have any reason to fully explore this chamber. I don't think there's really anything here we, we can find. What we're interested in is not stepping on the traps. an MK3HE mine over there. Shh, look at all that delicious experience points, viewer. We can't get any of it. We don't have any traps. No trap skills. One of the few games which a trap skill is actually useful, too, of this sort that I've played. Traps were not very useful, if I recall correctly, back in Fallout, the original Fallout series. They weren't useful in Ultima, Underworld. They weren't useful in... Planescape? I don't think had traps that I cared about very much either. Aren't too many other games that actually have traps as a detection mechanic? <sighs> Stand here for a tiny bit. You see me throwing flares because I'm under the impression that traps work a little bit like stealth enemies. So it gives me a slightly increased chance to detect them a little faster. I don't remember where to go here either, so we may be bumping into a few dead ends. That's, I think, where we're trying to get to. Hmm, no ladder over there. I'm a bit lost. Let's see. Careful, careful. Oh, no ladder here either. I thought there were some fake ladders. Like, I don't think that's a ladder we want. But we're here. Let's see where this one leads us.
much food did I bring with me? I brought no stuffed bat. Okay. Looks like we don't really need it. The goggles will help us find all the traps in this area. I hope. Rat hounds. Where are the rat hounds? Here they are. All right, viewer, lower your volume a little bit. Because we're going to have an explosion when all the rocks drop and we're forced to fight a few enemies up ahead. Fortunately for these little guys, they don't have a giant deep cavern <clears throat> rat hound with them, so this is a piece of cake to do with at our current level. We want all of their remains. And I think one of these guys has a three point Adi item on them. Bone fetish. Three of what appear to be human shin bones, sharpened on one end and tied together with leather straps into a triangular formation. The purpose or meaning of this perverse construct eludes you. Thankfully, the Red Hound King gives you a Mark II. A lockpick, just in case you don't have any lockpicking to let you get out of this room as opposed to starving to death in it. Which is not what I would do. But there you have it. Okay, now we could use a repair here for our spear. And our dagger. I like repairing my weapons as often as I can to reduce the weight I'm carrying on repair kits. By the way. Ooh, that was lucky. We didn't walk into that bird. Oh, trap! Or that caviar poison trap. This way. I can't believe I don't remember. But I also find that fun. I'm cursed in remembering most of the mazes and puzzles, traps and uh, ambushes in the games I've played throughout the years. And I wish I didn't, since I find it fun to bumble into all those things again. I still remember most of the dungeons for the original Zelda game for Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, we're not allowed to go any... Okay, we have to go around. Unless I want to step on that crawler poison. I don't want to feel like stepping on that. We would have leveled, by the way, viewer, had we stopped to actually take all these traps. So, just trying to prove that you can play through the game on Classic without doing any grinding. Or a very little of it. And you don't need traps in order to uh, level, as it were. This feels wrong to me. It is wrong. It's a dead end. I've always liked... Maps, dungeons, which require you to go down to go up, as it were, or the opposite. Which reminds me, I really do want to play through Legacy of the Ancients again. It's been too long. Eight years since I last played through that game, which is my favorite game to play.
Oh, favorite game of all time. I suppose I should correct myself. More Crawler Poison. Just a dead end. Wow. Okay. I'm really going to bumble into the correct way to go at the very end here. I'm surprised there's actually a correct way to go here. There, like, there, like, there isn't a secret door preventing you from finding the Rat Hound King's final area. I guess he's a little noble in that regard. Or quite a bit, actually. If you, act, if you speak with him and you have enough persuasion, you could actually get him and Camp Arthur to some agreeable terms, as it were. Alright, viewer, we made it to his home. Oh, wow! I wasn't even using the tracking goggles, so okay. Well, then I wasted all our time, viewer, thinking I would need those. I apologize for that. Huh. Paranoia plus mechanics, I guess, gives me enough of the trap skill to find those? What's my traps? What's my... Detect traps over here. Is it under base? No. 96 is enough to detect all the traps in that maze. Interesting. Okay. So our food's about to expire. So let's have another eel sandwich. We could hear a roar, which is one of those deep cavern rat hounds. And we're going to just kill the Rat Hound King. We're not even going to speak with him. To help us with this, I brought more Caltrops. Let's hope they go in the right places. Good. That was a great throw. I know you're thinking, Tim, the door! What are you doing? The door! You're screaming. At the screen. No, no, don't don't worry about the door. We have a way to get that open. Kind of. It's called dynamite, viewer. It's called dynamite. We can sound can be utilized in this game to attract attention. I would love to show you guys a few other really clever spots to do stuff like this, but this is probably the only one I'm able to do without hacking that I can think of off the top of my head. We'll just place the dynamite here. Wait for that door to open, and then we blast whatever is on the other side of it. <laughs> and there he is. Alright, so, hello, Rat Hound King. Let's go ahead and blast you. He's on fire, which is what we want him being. He's also not afraid. He does not care about being on fire that much. Wow! He just ran right up! <laughs> he, he... Wow! God. Well, the good news is he died. 
The bad news is he hit us once, and it almost it took us it took over half. Oh, half our hit points. We have more enemies, viewer. Whoa, we have quite a few more. We'll slow down that one. I can't believe how lucky we are with it, our throwing equipment, since the Caltrops have also gone where I wanted them. There's a second one here on hard mode. I forgot about that. Oh, that is too good of a spot to not put them all on fire. They don't seem to care about being put on fire, though, very much. <laughs> they don't seem to care, viewer, about being put on fire very much. I'm just l letting you guys know that. Oh, we hit one of them. Oh, no, we hit both of them with that. Okay, that's... That's still acceptable. Hmm. I don't want to use all of my psychic power. Okay, we can use recursion here. Smack that one again. Okay, dodge, just to be safe. These things can tear us to shreds. Okay, good. They went in the... One of them went in the wrong direction. They are rather fast, aren't they? Let's slow it down. Then we'll... We can set it on fire. And it's still slowed. We can move away. Like, get a little closer to us and we'll stab it to death next round. We'll have to get a crit. We got a crit. Okay. Makes up for the miss. All right. Not bad. Right Hound King dealt with. And we leveled again. So I need to go take a look at my build to see what we're doing in that regard. There's his throne of stuff. I like that it's somewhat organized with the two shelves over here with a bunch of beer bottles, what have you, on them. And out here is where he goes fishing. Does all his drying out here of fish. I guess I did bring a fishing rod. It's not likely to catch anything, but we'll try this really quick. What do you guys think of the Rat Hound King fight? That's not so bad. Of course, we were two levels, uh, four levels higher than I tend to be. And I figured that we would get enough experience points fighting at him to level us up again. Looks like we're not finding any fish over here today. Okay, so. Let's head on out.
Do we get decent quality leather from this thing? 113! We do! Particularly strong and cutting rat hounds can live to be a hundred years old or more, or so they say. Over the years, their hides grow thick and strong, but also becomes heavy. That's a decent quality leather. That's a fantastic quality leather, honestly. But we need more tailing, obviously, uh, to make use of it. Oh, we should check this leather as well. 74, nowhere near as good. Okay. Well, we will make some armor. From the normal right-hound leathers. Break those down for bits. One of those were 50, yeah, 53? Wow, for level 5 right now, you get 53 scraps for it? That's pretty good. That's very good, actually. Okay, and what does the Rat Hound King have on us, uh, on him today for us? Crawler Poison Boats, Burr Poison Boats, we don't care about those, we don't care about the net. Level 15 Combat Knife, you break that down. Jawbone. Not a very good crossbow for us. Not worth very much. Righthound Regilia. One strength, stealth 25, movement points, immune to fear. All heat damage taken increased by 100%. A key, some bolts, and his head. The key will be used over here, I think, for the footlocker, which doesn't, doesn't have anything good in it. Is not. <sighs> Is it worth even taking the jawbone back? No, it's not. We'll just recycle it. Done. And then we can actually make something useful. Pair of kits, make up for what we used. All right, and now let's check the locker. Uh, we'll take the combat knife and break that down too. Now we do want to keep the regalia. Plus one strength is very nice. Adrenaline gives you plus two more strength. So for plus three strength, which gives us nine strength. And if we find the Power Fist, that's another strength for, like, a, that gives us 10. Which is very useful in some puzzles to have that much. So, we will hold on to this. I guess we can full repair it. Sure. Okay. Now, I can't mess this up, viewers, so I have to cut the recording to go and look up my build. So I will be right back. Let's go ahead and level. Melee gets five points. Evasion gets five points. Metathermix gets five points. Now, Mechanics gets one point, and it's done. As we level, this will increase our effective skill at some point, thanks to our intelligence as well, to 135, which is where I want it left off at. The rest of these points are going into tailoring, as we try to get it up to 101 as well, as quickly as we can. We don't get any feats this level. We'll take a point. So, I think we are going to grab the premeditation cooldown, after all, instead of focusing on Pyromaniac so early. So, we need two points to get the cooldown of this reduced by one. So let's go ahead and start that process. And now we have to walk, unfortunately, all the way back. Which means we gotta talk about something, viewer, as we're doing this together. So we turn this quest... So what's next for us, then? I think I would I would like to find some super steel plans, and I wouldn't mind exploring more of the cave system now. We should try fighting crawlers and death stalkers. 
Well, I, 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 mm. <laughs> I tend to like fighting them. I do. But after I have the endothermic aura, I think is what it's called, ability. How hurt are we? We're still okay. Crawlers, even though they won't take too much damage, don't want to be set on fire. Same with, same with Deathstalkers, which is... I, I like that. It keeps them away from me. It provides light in the area to help me detect them more clearly. And I can chase them down while it's active to set, to set them on fire. So I really wouldn't mind having that ability first. We're not close to getting it, though, so... Or rather, I don't know... I don't remember where it is. Have we been to all the doctors? I don't know. So we'll run around, I guess, and... Well, we won't run around and check out all the doctors. Let's at least go back to Camp Harthor. Turn this quest in and talk with Ed, or Eddie, and see if... See if he... Oh, I don't want to do this. See if he has that ability. So, there's Fog of War here, viewer. Oh. There's nothing back there. It's not worth checking. It's not. It isn't. We're going to do it anyway. Oh. Oh. Where did it go? I think it's here? Okay. So, we found it. I don't have a way to actually stop it from running away. So, we're going to have to set it on fire. We could also try slowing it. So, let's slow it first. And then we set it on fire. And that will have to do. Yeah, it heals a whole lot is the problem. And we need a 50% chance to hit. To hit. It did. We're, oh, I don't have contraction, Tim. But you do have the option to put recurrence on it. Oh, that's a shame! It ran into a trap, but we're stunned for two rounds. It may still die. You and me, Death Stalker. You and me, huh? I have. N so, first off, that saved our life. I have never, ever seen a Deathstalker willingly run into a trap before. That's interesting. And we get... It, that's a Crawler's Eye. It also was worth 600 experience points. That is... That's totally worth the effort to kill Deathstalkers. I didn't think it was here. I thought it was further up in its den. And it had been feeding on a rat hound alpha. Oh, this is rat for some reason that one was hit with a crossbow bolt. There's a story to be told there that I don't understand. Did the rat hound king shoot that rat hound alpha? Maybe it had been imprisoned in this area, and the rat hound king killed it to put it out of its misery. All right. That was very lucky. That was very lucky, and that has also solidified my opinion that we are not ready for Deathstalkers in the caves quite yet. 
or we are, but they're gonna, they will be a good, uh, they will be really tricky. Very tricky. Every, I'm thinking, like, where are the Death Stalkers? And are, it, there's like more than one in most of the places that we would have to go to. And we could barely handle one of them. Okay, well, first things first. Let's go ahead and check our medical supplies with Fred. How are we looking? We're looking good enough, so we don't need anything that he's currently selling, I feel. Oh, maybe morphine? He's only selling one of them? Let's take a single morphine. Fred, what are you selling? I don't think I'm interested in any of these. I am not. And Freddy? Not selling any special fish today. We'll take some food, though, and we'll eat the pentapus, since we're going to be bringing back some supplies with us to Core City next. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Look, let's, complete the, let's complete this quest first. You know, I haven't had the game do the weird chugging thing in a while now, either. Maybe that got fixed in the recent patch. State your business. The Bathound King is dead. I can't believe my ears. How'd you do it? Where was he hiding? It was... Uh, he was hiding in his lair, south of Camp Harthor. I went past some caves filled with rat hounds, and then found an abandoned building that turned out to be the entrance to his lair. Once I got past the traps, it was a fairly easy battle. Amazing! Tim, there's only one thing left for me to do. You did so much for us. Help us get rid of the bugs and the rat hound king as well, therefore making our lives much easier. He hands you 300 charons. This is not your only reward, of course. You're one of us now. Come see me when you have the time, and I'll teach you a few things that a hunter like you might find useful. Not many get the opportunity. He teaches you a feat, which increases the damage you do to critter-type things by, I think, 25%? It's not terribly useful. Uh, cats, for example, would be considered that type of creature. Right, there you have it. I guess if we're going out worm hunting, that could be useful. Oh! And you we have the option to get a junk jet a little early now that we've defeated the Rat Hound King. I forgot about this little side quest that popped up. Uh we'll come back for him at some point in the future. Right now, I just want to take all this stuff back with me to Core City. Actually, we I guess we can talk with him. No, we'll we'll do that quest later. Ahoy, maybe. I need to get to Core City. Aye. 30 coins. Here you go. Now, laddie. Let me tell you about me encounter with the sea leviathan. A sea, a serpent, three, no, four bolts long. Thick as a sewage pipe, and just as fetid. Whew. T'was near Core City, when one of the passengers, a drunken sailor from the far west, be shouted, Ya, matey! A wild sea mustang be approaching fast. All right. And the viewer were... Wow, one-fourth of the way, already to the next level. That was incredible. We store all this trash. 
And then we think about what we want to do next. The lurker base is waiting for us. As are the lurkers, all the other lurkers down in the under passages. We still have the dude's quest to do. We have to. We could start one of the political factions, of which it will be the free drones for us. We have more exploring of underrail. We have all of upper underrail to still poke about as well. We have various cave systems to go into. There is a whole lot for us to do. We have the arena that we could also do. If I make tabby boots out of this rat hound leather, what will that do for us? We lose heat and acid resistance. We gain more movement points. We gain more movement speed. We lose a little bit of dodge and evasion. We keep our action point reduction. All mechanical damage taken is reduced by 5%. If I make a leather armor out of this... Ah... Twenty percent armor penalty, and I'm gonna to want to add other things to it, which means we lose dodge and evasion. Something I'd rather not do. I think we barely have the tailoring for that. Oh no, we have we have tailoring. Um. If I was Telodersia, if I was to buy some of your aluminized cloth, what does this look like now? 25% armor penalty. We gain heat resistance, we can't be burned. It's tempting. It's very tempting. You know, I'm going to do it. Let's make... Well... What does it look like? <laughs> what does it look like? Before before I go all in on this, what does this armor look like? Because if it looks awful, I don't want it. Oh, that's not so bad. Alright, that's not so bad. What did we lose? We're at 46 movement points at the moment. Oh, do I see what I have over here somewhere? We have 52 movement points with our current armor on. We lose. We only lose 6 movement. That's not so bad. What's my dodge and evasion? So we go from 174 dodge, 197 evasion. Ooh. Down to 36 dodge, 154 evasion. So we're losing about 40 points of each. Hmm. That's pretty big. We'll try it for a bit. It is that's a that's a huge amount of evasion to lose though. But we'll give it a go and see if I if how much we like it or not. How much we like it or not, if we like it or not. 
can make it heavy boots, Tim. No. We can also... We'll be... We can look for more siphoners. And get... And make slightly better boots. Okay. Heidi, how are you doing? So... Let's purchase a few more vials of morphine. We'll purchase a little more... Uh, some more antidote. And I think that will do. Okay, and now we're two. I want to see what the cave hopper leather is. That we can get fr uh, in a secret location by Southgate Station. So let's go back to Southgate Station then. And we'll do some. Uh, actually, what time is it? Uh, we only got six minutes, viewer. So we can go over there, I guess. But we won't do any exploring. We'll probably end the episode then. Actually, we can go to Junkyard. Because that's not too far away from where we want to be either. How much dynamite do I possess? Only two. Two is all I technically need to do what we're going to do. There might be more for sale at Junkyard as well. All right, Captain Roscoe. Junkyard for us, 25 stitching coins. Guess we should check for that dynamite while we're in the area here. None for sale there. I am still contemplating destroying the black eels, by the way, viewer. Just knocking them out. But I don't know who's allied with them. Might be fun to have the Black Eels as a hostile combatant on the rivers. I'd be interested to know how things work out in Junkyard if we do wipe them out and keep the Scrappers around as the only boss in town. Kareem is not selling any fish. I mean, I am interested in all these weird fish, but I don't want to lug them around at the moment. So we'll purchase a cave hopper steak. No, it should be eel sandwiches. For where you're going, sir. Kareem and... Creams and uh, Ed at Camp Harthor are, to my knowledge, the only two places that sell fish. And they can, I think, sell any of the fish, but the chance is higher at Kareem's than it is at Ed's. We've done... We did explore that borough area, by the way. I don't know about this armor, viewer. <laughs> I don't like losing all that dodge and evasion. I really don't. For a little more mechanical resistance? Dodge is 136. Keep it at the moment. You're not going to reload. You've, you've, you've made up your mind. You can always just sell the armor. Psy Beetles. It's been a while since we've seen Psy Beetles. They 
still die as easily as they... Well, they didn't die easily last, last time we were here, did they? I'm coming for you. That's what you get for being in my way. You know, we could have tried to make some psionic armor with that... Whatchamacallit, the uh, rat hound leather. But rat hound... Psionic armor requires quite a bit of points in... Uh, points. Require, uh, is quite heavy. And I haven't used it on any of my Sonic characters because they all tend to be evade type characters. I don't want the high armor penalty. Oh, you know what we can do now? We have pickpocket. Up quite a bit. Let's see what Mordra's up to. What's in your pocket, sir? A cigar. A level 18. Serrated tungsten and steel knife. Ours is better. An extended magazine 7.62 level 18 steel cat. Tons of bullets. 149 stygian coins. An unknown insignia. This insignia is unfamiliar to you. Maybe there's someone out there who can help you identify it. Maybe there is. Take it. And we did not go down to this area yet. I avoided this earlier because of all the Psy Beetles. We should be able to handle them now. Watch we die like 20 times here. <laughs> we'll clear this room and then we will call the session. I have to get ready for some Dungeons and Dragons this evening. Oh god, I just walked right up and there's a side beetle right here, huh? Some good armor on these things. Let's let that one get a little closer. I think it has some friends. Oh, no, just one of you? No, oh, there was another. Wow. Are you a young one? Only five damage. A lower level. One, I suppose, then. Okay, let's grab some mind shrooms. There might be one more side beetle over here. No, no others. We already farmed, I think, the cave hoppers. Viewer, someone's going to be really confused in the future. <laughs> As we leave some meat inside that rock. All right, let's detonate these rocks, and then we'll call the session. Should be able to handle what's ever on the other side of this. Although, I think there's at least one Death Stalker. Alright, we might as well zone. And viewer, I will stop here. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.